and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today, we would be discussing the problem named as filling bucket. So in this problem, so you are given that you need to fill a bucket with N liters, but you have bottles of just only one and two liters. Okay, suppose this you can visualize like this. Suppose you have a bucket like this and the capacity of that is three liters and you have a bottle of one liter and two liter. So how many ways you can have them? So the summary of this question would be that you are given a number n and you need to build up that number using one and two. And what are the number of ways you need to report this? Okay, translating the same in Hindi is that a number diya rahega. Hame one or two se us number ka sum lana hai. Okay, and kitne tarike se la sakte that would be our answer. Fair enough. So now we have three. So how many ways we can build up three? We, the first way is we can have one, one, one. The next way is we can have one, two. And the next way is we can have two, one. We can have this. But what, how can we reach this result? How to solve this using programming? Okay. So this seems like a permutation combination problem in the first time. Like using a combination of one and two, what would be the number of combination of this? It seems like. But it is not the scenario if you have already had solved recursion. Okay. Why? Because let us try solving it for 3. Suppose we are given the number 3. So we can use here 1. We can start with 2. Okay. We can take 1. Like we need to build 3. So in the first step, we can have 1 or we can have 2. Like we would explore all possible ways. What is the use? Okay. So what I am trying to do is. Like see, you need to explore all possible ways. You need to, what we do in manually. Like you take a two liter bottle, then you have it. Then you again take a one liter bottle and then you have it. So you try to have all the possible combinations and the combination that lead to you to the number N, that would be the correct answer. Like kya karna chahate hai na? Agar ek N diya hua hai. To hum log one, two, sub se try karenge. Aur jo jo try, hit and trial mein, hume answer tak likhe jaega, that is the value N. Count pe add hota jayega. Last me that count would be the, our answer. Fair enough. So we have the first step as 1. So in the next step, we can again have 2. And we can have 1 again. And after this step, we can have 1. But we can't have 2. But in the next step, we can't have here 2. Why? Because if we have 2, then 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 would be greater than 3. Okay. 4, that would be greater than 3. So we would remove this. Okay. We would just remove this and we would just have this. Okay. Now after this, after this, can we move further? So 1 plus 2, the sum till this point is 3. 1 plus 1, the sum till this point is 2. And 1 plus 2 plus 1 is sum till this point is 3. So we can move one more step. That is that we can move from 2. So can we have 2? So 2 plus 2 is equals to 4. So we can't have that. So we can only have 1 here. So as you can see that this one leads to a way to reach the destination. This one leads to a way to reach the destination. And this one leads to a way to reach the destination. Okay. So if you have this, okay, then using all possible ways, we can say that it is recursion. Okay. So recursion is the way. So now what is recursion is the way we need to think about base cases. We need to think about recursive cases. Okay. So what would be the base case? The base case would be the smallest valid case. What is the smallest valid case? Okay. The smallest valid case is that when we are given the value as 0. When we are giving the value as 0, there is no possible way to build that value. Okay. So we can safely say that there is only one possible way that there is no way. If the value is 1, then there is only one possible way that is by using just the bottle of 1 liter. And 2 liter won't come into picture. So there is also one way only. Now if you move to 2, there is two ways. Either you can use 1-1 one, one, or you can simply use 2. So the smallest valid test case would be these two. Okay. So we can say that this is the base case. So whenever you want the base case, 
you try to look for the smallest test case that you can handle by yourself and then you can see that what is the most suitable one for base case okay so for me this is the most basic one okay now comes the recursive case so for the recursive case try to look at the non root non leaf branches okay try to look for the non leaf branches so let us look for this so from this point from a particular point i can either go to 1 i can either go to 2 so i can safely say that this is dependent on my 1 and 2 taking so can can't i say that recursion of n is equals to recursion of n minus 1 added to recursion of n minus 2 can't we say that or not because if you observe that the value of this is nothing but the sum of the values from this and the sum of the values from this and what is this 3 minus 2 and this is 3 minus 1 here also if you observe okay like here also if you observe this is 3 minus 2 and this is 3 minus 1 so we can safely say that let's take one more example so that this becomes clear so from 5 okay from 5 it is dependent on the answer of 4 and the answer of 3 so what was the answer of 3 the answer of 3 is nothing but 3 we can safely say that 3 now what is the answer of 4 the answer of 4 is nothing but answer of 2 and answer of 3 so answer of 2 and 3 2 is 2 and 3 is 3 so it would be nothing but 2 plus 3 that is 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 5 plus 3 so the answer for 5 is equals to 8 we can say that because it is what dependent on the lower values okay dependent on the lower values so just it is just like like we are standing so we can use only one liter bottle or two liter bottle so i can say i can say that suppose suppose we want to calculate the value for five okay i would just say you what is the intuition of this suppose we need to want the value at five so we can safely say that tell me the value of three okay tell me the value of three and tell me the value of four why because from of three I can add a 2 liter bottle and for 4 I can add a 1 liter bottle I can add that or not I can simply do that so it is just like that aap last moment tak kar do, last wala main kar dunga. it is just like saying that till the last moment you do the job and the last minute work would be done by me so you do the, all the jobs and the last minute work would be done by me this is one of the recursive things so let us write the recursive one so the recursive one would be like this for int n and then we would say that if n is less than 2 okay we would return the value 1 now if this is not the scenario we would initialize the answer is equals to 0 and answer is equals to rec of n minus 1 plus rec of n minus 2 and then return the value of the answer now let us just check the return rec of the value n. Let us just compile and run. Okay. Okay, we have the correct output, but this won't be a we won't be able to surpass the time limit. Okay, so we got a time limit exceeded. So how can we solve this? So now let us try to see it. Okay, so what is this happening? Let us calculate the value for rec of 5. So rec of 5 means that we need the value of rec of 4 added to the value of rec of 3. 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 2. Then, rec of 4 is not less than 2. 
So for rec of 4, we need the value of rec of 3 added to the value of rec of 2. And for 3, we need the value of rec of 2 minus 1 and rec of 1 minus 2. So for 3 also, we need the value of rec of 1 minus 2 added to the value of rec of 2 that is minus 1. For 2, this is not less than 2. So that means we need the value of rec of 1 and 2 minus 2 is equals to rec of 0. For here also, we would have rec of 1 added to rec of 0. Okay. And 1 would return 1 from this position and rest all. Okay. So rec of 2 would again be rec of 1 okay added to rec of 0 after this point this if statement would do the job rec of 1 1 0 1 0 would be returned by the if statement so if you observe in this okay we are calculating the same value again and again so what is the time complexity first we can say so let us first say what is this why is the time limit exceeding because for a particular value, we are going in two direction, okay, and then again we are making a choice of two. So this is just like a family tree, okay. This is just like a family tree. So at each step, the number of calculation is increasing by two to the power. Like initially it has two to the power zero, two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three. That is why we can say that the time complexity is 2 to the power n. Okay. So now the question is how to optimize this. So to optimize this, we can see that we are calculating the value of rec of 2 again, again, okay. Again, again. So these 3, 3 already calculated, 2, 2, 2 already calculated. Again, 2 is being calculated. So these all are repetitive tasks. So if somehow we can remove this repetition of task. Can we optimize this? Yes, we can optimize this. So suppose we are doing a same task again and again. Okay, we are calculating the same value again and again. What do we do in real life? We write it somewhere so that the next time we don't need to calculate. That is why we would just remember it. Okay, we would just remember the values. So we would take an int dp array of limit and we would decide the limit okay so we would say static const int limit is equals to 1e5 plus 5 why 1e5 plus 5 because it is already told the value of n can be at max 10 to the power 5 that is why this value okay okay then we it is done then we would initialize everything to minus 1 so memset is nothing but having making all the values equal to the value minus 1. Okay. Made all the values equal to minus 1. After that thing, okay, so we can say that if dp of n is not equal to minus 1, that is means the value is calculated, so we would return dp of the value n. If we are coming down, that means the value is not calculated, so we would say dp of n is equal to the value answer. We can say that. Okay. Till this point, we are done. But even if we submit this, we won't be able to get an AC. Why? Because it is told find the answer modulo 10. So we need to do modulo. So we would say const int mod is equal to 1e8. Okay. So now what we would do is we would say rec of this modulo mod, this modulo mod, and then this modulo mod. So what I just did, what I did, I just did. This just means that a plus b whole modulo mod is equals to a mod m plus b mod m, and then whole modulo m. This is what we are doing. Okay. Hope I am clear. So, so let us compile and run to see if we are making any mistakes or not.
okay seems correct for the sample test case now let us try to submit this also so we are able to get an ac so now the time complexity is that we are just calculating each value exactly once so from 2 to the power n this is nothing but big o of n so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day happy diwali to everyone so if you are here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting down the video so that this video could have a better reach thank you and have a nice day